We made it home. I will be doing the whole van life on my own. If Joel comes home to this, he is going to be so disappointed in me. It's really cold. Remember Mexico? We can just open the door and there be a beach right there. Grab a rolling. Baby, We're gonna head to a very special spot for us. Here we are. Let's get some gas. Rebecca and Joel. We live in our van, Popple, and today I try van life on my own. Joel takes stilt walking to the streets. I take you with me to a film set, and all the while we fight the Canadian spring freeze. After spending the last month and a half down in Mexico, it was a bit of a shock how cold Canada was. Even though it was March, spring was a long ways from coming. It's so cold. There is literally like, I'd say a foot of snow that just fell this, like overnight. It's overwhelming. We went to Mexico so that way we could fall back in love with van life because the winter has just been really hard to do in the van. And now that I'm back in the van and it's still winter, even though it's March, um, Tough. <laughs> I'm doing this because I love acting. I'm going to get to act with some of my most favorite people in my favorite town in the world, Rosebud. All right, we all back. Where's my keys? <sighs> Time to hit the road. Gotta love winter driving and winter windshields. Mm. Okay, I'm so excited to introduce you to these homies because these people are my flesh and blood family. All right, let's go find them. I was welcomed home. Oh. Hello. To such a warm. Hello. Anybody home? Homecoming. Anybody up yet? Such a warm. <gasps> Welcome home. Oh, let's get this laundry done. Nothing like family with washing machines and showers. After the month in Mexico, our van chores demanded we make a pit stop. And what better place than my sibling's house? There's nothing quite like getting to do your laundry for free and take a shower with hot, running water. I did mention my flesh and blood, not Joel's, so of course he had to beg for his shower. Makes sense, right? <laughs> When you've been living on the road for over a month, my brother letting us use his shower and wash our laundry is something that we are both incredibly grateful for. All right, it's time to hit the road and go to Rosebud. How exciting is that? It's only a minus 15 day today. Welcome to Canada. So you might be wondering, what is Rosebud? It's a theater town as well as a professional performing arts school where I attended. I'm now going back because I'm doing an actual theater show called The Trip to Bountiful. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand and damn. I feel like no one takes accountability, they want the credibility, convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours it takes to get some power. Don't be f***ing sour, take a cold shower, scream until you're louder, work until you're prouder, and f*** all the doubters, they're just your downers. Having finally made it to Rosebud, it was starting to hit home that I was going back to do this whole van life thing on my own. Remember Mexico? We could just open the door and there'd be a beach right there. Well, we have made it to Rosebud. It's very beautiful this morning and very cold. A reality that was beginning to terrify me. It's actually super pretty outside. It's really cold, but there's a nice mist. It's snowy. Anyways, I'm on my way to rehearsals, if you couldn't tell. Especially with a heater that is on the fritz. Go for it, come on little baby. Come on, we just need two more weeks. Three more, four, four more weeks. A month, two months. It's two months. So it's been working. I know, it's like you don't want to touch it because if you touch it, it's gonna fizzle out, it's gonna break. So should I try cleaning it? At the same time, it's working now. And then as soon as you leave me and I'm left here in Rosebud by myself, what will I do? It will stop working. So it's a catch-22. There is no good solutions here. 
see, here's the thing. If I try and take it apart and clean it, the question is, will I be able to put it back together so that it works at all? I mean, there's loads of YouTube videos. You're gonna do fine. I think just follow the instructions to a T and- <laughs> The <should>. instructions? <laughs> you should read the instruction manual on this thing. Well, I mean, at least, like, I wouldn't read the manual because I hate manuals. It's the most boring read you'll ever have is reading a manual. But, follow a video. They're a lot more entertaining anyways. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. No, doesn't it look pretty? And terribly undelightful. I never want to go outside because all it does is be cold, be cold. Okay, it's time for me to leave my baby and go play. He said he should see you. See you, baby. Love you. Have a good day at work. Huh? Have a good day at work. Yeah. Ow. I do not have any food today. And now I have the whole van to myself. It is time to head back underneath. Taking off that heater. There she be. My wonderful friend John very generously decided to let me use his little shop garage for the little repairs on the diesel heater so i'm so thankful i'm not doing this out in the cold it appears this gasket is broken right here so that's not a good thing my glow plug pretty corroded there too that's probably not a good thing either that guy's not gonna like this so promise me you won't tell her okay he got me some soup and all i want to do is hold it it's so nice and warm because it is a blizzard out there look at that and we are headed to Calgary to see another show. So Joel is leaving me from the theater and then I will be doing the whole van life on my own. Yeah, and I'll be doing solo Joel house life with a few friends. <laughs> so it's not solo. But you'll be living in a basement so it will make up for my aloneness. Because I know that you'll be like totally bacheloretting. Bachelor. Bachelor. <laughs> Bachelor. 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 Bachel
Because, you know, you're not really We're a couple. Of not, you're not a working actor shot. if you're not getting paid for it. That's right. Am I going to get in trouble for saying that? Camera rolling. Camera's rolling. Slate. Scene 16.9. Take one. Action. Research? Let's see this research. Geraldine Warbler? Yes. Can we can we just sit, keep rolling and go back a little bit, Rebecca? Don't let him off the hook so fast. Okay, action. That's exactly what a predator would say. Some formal way of describing your weird, fetish, perverted jollies. It's like there's only bubbles that you can probably inside. Oh, do you want to ice the inward Is there one? Okay, thank you. Oh, look at that. on me. I'm back to the theater, but this time without my wonderful wife. While I was enjoying my time in Rosebud, I feel high. Joel was enjoying his time bacheloring it hard in Calgary. Being artists means that we really have to diversify our income streams. So Joel learned a new skill of stilt walking and spent a day directing traffic for a hockey game in his colorful outfit. As the new pretend bachelor he was, he also spent the night out on the town with our good friends Tip and Anna. Food is ready. So Joel has been gone now for two days, three days. It hasn't been that long, and I'm already complaining. Anyway. He is coming back today at 3 o'clock, so that's three hours from now. And I might have made this place a bit of a mess. So, it is um, time for me to clean up, get ready, and shower because he's going to take me on a date. Yeah, everything's a mess. I know! <laughs> date time! Six years ago, two stage-frightened wannabe actors found themselves in a small little theater town learning the craft to pretend. Oh, baby, I missed you. I missed you too, baby. Yeah, this reminds me of when we were students here. Going on a date back in those days. And all the while, falling in love with each other. You guessed it, that was Joel and I. So, Rebecca and I used to come here when we were dating. The sign is not on. And no. that sign over there says, sorry, we're closed. Ah, Rosebud and Drumheller marks a significant landmark for our relationship. We were excited to show you some of our favorite date places. Closed. They're closed on Mondays. What? Unbelievable. Find another place. I'm so excited for that burger. I know. There you go. Sneak peek of the world's biggest dinosaur. It's pretty ginormous, ain't it? That place is closed. I feel like everything's just closed on Mondays now. It's okay, O'Shea's is still a pretty, like, historical place for us. If you've never been to Drumheller, then the important thing for you to know is Drum is located in the Alberta Badlands. Let's hope this place is open and it's got food and it'll be good and it hasn't changed too much. Even though we can already tell the half building is now a different store which is famous for dinosaur fossil hunting. So Drumheller's artists took to the street and created dino sculptures to represent all the dead bones. I just love Belgians. It's pulling back. I remember one time, Haley told us to go to this place because they had cheap, super cheap wings. And then we went in and they're like, no, we don't have a $5 wing special. Our wings are $15. And then we were like, okay, I'm sorry. And we left the restaurant and kept searching for this wing place that didn't exist. While we're in Drumheller, we're gonna head to a very special spot for us. We got engaged on that very bridge. The wind treks this far. <laughs> Five years ago, where I jumped out on one knee and asked the question. And what did you say? I said, actually, I'm not really sure. Let's not. No, I totally said yes. <laughs> so, five happy years later. Here we are. 
I'm so terrified I dropped the ring in the river. <laughs> He looks like a leaping, flapping flamingo. <laughs> that is all we have for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining us and make sure to like and subscribe and tune in next week for our next adventure. as I take you backstage and behind the scenes of what it takes to create a play.